what is up you guys it's your spiritual fairy godmother and i am back okay i am back you guys with the let's talk about it okay come on sky can you close your door please thank you um yeah let's talk about it y'all so Today's topic is going to be why nobody prepared me to be a dog. Like, why, <laughs> why nobody told me that being a dog was gonna be like this? Hmm. Cause, uh, mm. And maybe it's different for, you know, every family, every different generation, you know, like maybe, maybe y'all feel prepared, but Lord, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I haven't been. And today I was thinking like, dang, like who taught people to be prepared? Like is being prepared something that came from fear like somebody in the world experienced what it was like to not be prepared and then one day they just was like here this is called a plan like i feel like i didn't get the memo i feel like i did not get the memo i feel like i don't be knowing what be going on half the time i feel like i am like I'm doing everything blindly and I'm doing everything so differently. Like, I feel like all the shit that matters is hidden. Like, the shit that's like rapid fire information, the shit that you see on TikTok, even like hell, the shit that, not hell, but the shit that you see here on YouTube, like a lot of that, a, a lot of this is condensed. A lot of this is the information that people are willing to share. But then, for the most important stuff, you got to buy their cookbook. You got to uh, subscribe to their Patreon. You got to buy their OnlyFans. You got to um, subscribe to their, to their, to their, like, you know, it's like, eventually it gets to a point where you really got to, you got to go for what it is that you want. You have to look for, you have to seek knowledge and, like, I just, I, 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 I did not feel prepared. For 29. I didn't feel prepared for adulthood, to be honest. But here we are, right? So, I am 29 years old. Yo, my last year in my 20s. And I feel like I can feel it. Like... I feel like I can dead feel it. Like, I don't know why my vocabulary is so off today. It's like, I'm tired. Um, but yeah, like, ugh, and even my mind, like something as simple as that, like me saying I'm tired. Did y'all actively watch my mind work? Watch me question the fact that I said that I was tired? Three, two, three, thank you, it's in the masters. It's like all day I'm constantly healing thinking preparing planning wishing hoping praying like all day i got something going on all day and it's so exhausting it is so exhausting but then it's like well if you speak to yourself and you tell yourself that you're tired then you're speaking that over your life and yes that's true but also i'm tired like, when do we give voice to, like, just how we feeling? Like, lately, in this 29th year, like, I feel like God been putting me just in position to, like, lay my burdens down. Like, God is allowing me to see the fact that I am human and I don't have it all together. I don't, like, God has given me a level of I've done enough. Like, I'm doing enough. Like, and that's not to say I don't still question myself if I'm doing enough. Like, why I don't have this? How can I make this happen? That's not to say I'm not struggling right now. 
but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, it's like, I'm okay. I'm not good, but I'm okay. But then it's like, career-wise, I feel so lost being an entrepreneur in this world where what I'm doing is so taboo where and of course there are other niche careers like this as well um, but for me it's so deep rooted in my family doesn't support me you know like and it's not that they don't support me I don't want to say that but um, I come from a family of Christians you know I come from um, family members who don't necessarily understand my craft or what it is that I do and why I'm into the things that I'm into and um it goes so deep y'all it, it it really do and sometimes I just I feel like I don't know what I'm doing like I feel like I don't know where I'm going like I want to do so many things in this lifetime that it's like how am I gonna fit all of that if the dream that I've had for so long is taking so long to like come into fruition right and it's like it's not as if it's not coming because I see it coming I see it forming I see the foundation being laid but at the same time, it's just like, oh my God, like being a being an entrepreneur at my age and from where I'm from, um, I actually have a lot of people in my family who are entrepreneurs. Um, I have a lot. Um, but I still don't feel like I was ever equipped with the knowledge of like how to do this, how to make it happen, how to, you know, and even like going to school, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> But, like, I'm in a stage now where it's like, okay, I'm, I, it's almost tax time. I need to itemize stuff. I need all of these receipts. I need to be able to. And it's just like, who's supposed to teach you this? Who, Who's supposed to tell you, like, uh, I don't want to keep jumping from topic to topic, but we friends, friends. So, this uh this is how I talk to my friends like y'all this 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 lifestyle this entrepreneur lifestyle is plus this spiritual lifestyle I want y'all to get where I'm coming from it's like I want y'all to understand like where my turmoil is coming from like Hold on. Right, okay, let me break it down for y'all. Right, so, on one end, it's like, I need to make money. And I need, I like, I need to make money, and I need to make money now, and I need to make money fast. I need to, like, you know, like, the holidays are coming up. Um, my graduation is coming up. I want to do something for graduation. Um, I want to be able to buy myself a nice outfit. I want to be able to buy myself a designer bag for graduation. That's one of those gifts, like big girl gifts that I want to get for myself. Um, Kamaya's birthday is coming up in February. Um, everything is back to back to back. So it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, graduation, a um, couple days after Christmas, New Year's. <laughs> Um, Kamaya's birthday is February 8th, and then my mom's birthday is March 2nd, my brother's birthday is March 5th, um, throw Valentine's Day in there somewhere, um, and yeah, like, it just, it's a lot, it's a lot coming up for me right now, and as much as I could post a YouTube video every day, I could post an Instagram reel every day, I could post a TikTok every day, I could like, you know, but it'd it be season. So it'd be like, yeah, I can have my loyal clients. I can have my clients that come in weekly like clockwork. But I also need like more revenue. I also need more clients. I also need new clients. I also need like 
couples i also want to try like more people to be interested in my mediumship readings like i want to be i want people to come and get like massages and cleanses and facials and i don't want to do facials but like <clears throat> ayurvedic consultations like i want to be able to heal people i want to be able to help people i want to be able to be a life coach like i want to be able to do these things i want to be able to live in that and be that and y'all i just feel like everything be like going in a circle because it's like I want all of that, but then it's like I also tell myself, like, me and God talked about it, and it's like faith of a mustard seed, babe. Like, I need you to believe in me. I need you to lay your burdens down. I need you to know that, like, you not in this by yourself. Like, you, we, we in this together. And then it'd be like, okay, God, like, and God always answer. God always hear me, like, me and God like this, literally, like, I promise you. But it's also... The world is the world. The world is real. The world is right here. And I'm saying that God is my real, but it's like the world is tangible. The, those bills in my mailbox, okay? Me and my daughter on the bus. Credit card bill, not paid. Like, so it'd be like, mind you, I'm saving up. I don't go outside. I'm not partying. I'm not kicking it. I'm not buying no smoke. I'm not buying no liquor. I'm not having fun with my friends i'm not going to costume parties like this is stuff that in my 20s in my last year in my 20s i want to be doing i don't necessarily uh, but i could be doing but it's like i can't even save up money to travel i can't even save up money to go on a woman's retreat to be on some holistic spiritual stuff like it's like every every step forward that i take it's like something else like is getting in the way like you can't even get business loans grants until you have this this and this and then this this and this and then this this and this and it just be like well nobody told me that i even needed that how do i even get this i ain't never even heard of that so it just be like oh my god like and this probably all sound like girl just do your research just figure it out like just you know, but it's like, I am. Like, that's that's what I'm in school for. Like, I'm figuring it out. They're teaching me the game. they teach me what, what I need to know. But there's also experience <laughs> that comes with this business stuff. And it's like, I'm trying to get myself in the field. I'm trying to, like, put my foot in there. But then it's like, I'm also trying to be a good woman. Like, I'm also trying to be a good mom. Like, I be stressed out, but it be like, dang, I don't want to, like, Put my daughter in position to have a bad childhood I, that's the kind of shit that i'm thinking about like her her adult life like what what is she gonna be like as a teenager who is she is she gonna respect herself is she gonna be a happy adult like is she gonna be depressed somewhere like is she gonna be happy is she gonna live a happy life like and that's a lot to put on my plate but it's also what i think about based off my childhood based off the certain things that i'm going through it's like i want to be better for my child not saying I had a bad childhood, but of course we want our, our kids to be better than us, to have more than us. Like, I want her to have a silver gold spoon. Like, I want that for her. Period. So, I think, like, for me, it be everything be, like, one and the same because I'm such an emotional being. I'm such an emotional woman. And, like, sometimes I let my emotions get the best in me. Like, I let... And that's, my emotions are also my superpower again, so it'd be like back and forth, like, <clears throat> the thing that people hate about me is also the pe thing that people love about me, like, the fact that I'm so emotional, like, I'm so intense with my love, but I'm also so intense with my hate, like, and that's something that I'm learning to control while also learning to embrace, like, my dark feminine energy, my shadow side, my Lilith energy, like, the parts of me that became that way for a reason the parts of me that have cried out the parts of me that are from karmic past lives and you know it's like all of that still makes it me like my mental health issues me switching me having did nobody around me understanding or being able to conceptualize that like all of that and you just getting up and going about your day Right, and I'm pretty sure y'all got y'all list of all of that shit too, right? So it's like having all of this and still just 
going throughout your day and trying not to feel ashamed, trying not to feel guilty, trying not to feel bad, trying not to get down on yourself. Like, it's balanced. So, of course, like, you ain't, ain't, we ain't, nobody's perfect. And I'm so proud of myself because I, you, I remember a point in my, uh, where I, I handle my emotions by being in the bed. Like, I could not handle my emotions. I, I ran away from friendships. I ran away from relationships. I didn't run away from relationships. I, I self-sabotaged relationships. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't care. Like, I didn't care. Once I cared and I wasn't, my care wasn't reciprocated, I just, I stopped caring. And, you know, I've let myself lose myself multiple times and now that i'm like here and i'm present and i'm stable and my mentality and my spirituality and my faith and my love of god like i know that like what i'm doing is right i know that i'm on the right path so now there's this level of peace over me but then that level of peace be kind of interrupted because it's like you know that god got it right like you know it but at the same time it's like i know that i i have to do work like as as the vessel like there's also something that i'm supposed to be doing so then i'll rack my brain about what that something is can i go live and then i'll go live and i won't get no clients so it'd be like yeah i'm doing this because i love it and i'm still gonna post the video i'm still gonna give a free reading and you know like i'm gonna post that but at the same time like how am i spending my energy because y'all said y'all wanted me to go live i went live nobody came on but i could have been asleep or i could have been studying or i could have been in the bed or i could have been doing something else so but then it's like okay but any business you gotta like you gotta give out freebies you gotta pass out like you gotta let people know who you are so then it's like okay i have to invest time but then I might do it for a month and only make the same thing that I made last month, even though I promote it way harder, even though I edit way more videos, or even though I, my revenue, my check's still the same. And it's like, getting discouraged is so natural. I don't know. Like, I feel like, maybe it's not natural. I don't know. But it's, it, it feels like it come natural to me. Like, I just... I get discouraged. I don't stop. Like, I might take a break. Like, y'all might notice, like, and it's not even me, like, running out of content or anything like that because I always got something to talk about. I always have something to navigate. I always have something to pick apart. Um, however, I just feel like y'all are worth more than that. Like, y'all are worth more than the same concepts, right? Like, and this is not to down me because I'm, I'm dropping gems, okay? Like, every different phase of my life, even if I'm talking about the same thing, I'm talking about it in a different light, in a different way, in a different mental space, head space, whatever. But it's like, I noticed that, like, I want better for my content. I don't know how to make that happen yet. I don't know how to have the perfect setup. Like, I bought the ebooks from the girlies. And I feel like all the information, like, I got that. So certain things, like, I'm confident in. Like, I'm confident when I post a video every single day of the week. Or when I'm, I I got my reels popping every day of the week. Or I'm, I'm if I'm not posting, I'm actively editing. Um, if I didn't post on YouTube, I at least posted on Instagram. Like, I'm doing readings every single day. Having at least two, three clients every single day. Right? I want to get up to six, to ten. And eventually a full day, a full six hours worth of the readings, you know, but baby steps, it's, it's like, then I think about the fact that like, okay, well, maybe I should get a job, right? I'm already so tired. I already don't have time to do the things that I want to do. I eat dinner at dinner at nine o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night. Then it's heavy on my body. So now my body is unhealthy. My body is sluggish because it's still processing the food from last night. Because I get home 5, 6 o'clock. Why? Because I have to catch the bus. So I get off at 4, but I'm not getting home till an hour and a half, two hours later. Then, come on, I got to eat. I might have to go to the grocery store. Um, I got to walk a dog. 
gotta get Kamaya in a tub. She has to do her homework. That's at least an hour. Like, life be needed to be life. Life be needed to be lived. And, like, I never want my life to stop because I'm just on go or because I'm just thinking about money because I've done that before. I've done the not seeing Kamaya for hours or she gone the whole weekend or she, like... That's that's not the kind of mother that I am, and I ain't nothing wrong with it. However, I am very invested in what be going on with my daughter, her different moods, the 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 changes of moods, the different aspects of her day. Like I I need mean, I I I I, I, mm, I require that. Like that's as a mother, that's something that I require for myself and for her. So like, I don't know. Life be life in. <laughs> life be life in because every day I'm guilty about something. Every day I feel bad about something that I done did, that I done said to Kamaya, how I done said something to my friends, did I offend this person? Dang, I just mugged the shit out of this person on the bus, but shit, I know I'm tired, but that ain't no fucking excuse. So it be like, I be going back and forth with myself because I know I'm that girl. Like, I know I'm hilly. I see it on myself. I feel it on myself. Like, I know that. But there are some things that I still be feeling like are just out of my control. But that's not true. Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, I know that's not true. Like, I have a lot of control. And maybe that's on me to, like, not be secure enough in in, in what God has given me that, like, I, I can just take control over my life. But it's like, I know that, like, I don't have the ultimate control. So, like, everything is God. I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in things just happening. So anything that happens, I know it's not just me, but it's like also taking responsibility and having accountability and just being aware of the fact that like maybe I'm not working as hard. Maybe I could be doing more. But then I'll also be like, damn, like, I'm a woman who likes luxury. Like, I feel like in my past life, I was like a queen who just sat on her throne somewhere. Like, I don't want to work. And me and God talk about that. I, I want to have a husband who don't believe in no 50-50. I'm not paying nothing, but, but, but. <clears throat> and that ain't no, that ain't like no, oh, no lazy stuff. Like, I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I want to, I want to bear these kids. I'm tired. <laughs> like, I want to be tired at the end of the day. I want to be tired from from my kids running me ragged, from hearing too much noise, from the laughter, from the jokes, and the memories being made in the house. I want to be tired from doing so much laundry from all of these kids and my man funky ass work shoes. And I, like, I want to be that kind of tired. I want to be that kind of exhausted. I'm tired of being this exhausted. This, this, this just tired from my day. Tired from the fact that like I'm around energies that are depleting me. People who don't like me. People who don't want me around. People who are racist. Being around poverty. Just being in in my hometown. Like, and that's no shade to my hometown. But I need a different scenery. You know, like other people, y'all, y'all be traveling. Y'all, you know, like y'all do y'all. That's cool. I ain't got there yet. So it's like I get stuck in only what I see, but it's like the knowledge I want to bring to y'all is some shit I haven't even tapped into yet because I haven't gotten there yet. I only have what I know. I want to know more, though. I want to acquire more knowledge. Books be costing money, though. And yeah, it's free stuff, but like it gets to a certain point in your journey where you, you got to pay it. You, you, just like if you have a business, you might give away free samples at first, but after a while, you're going to need people to pay up for your energy. And I feel like that's sort of point where I am in my life. Like, it's time for me to pay up. I want to invest in me a spiritual mentor. I, I want to know who has my head. I, I want to go to spiritual retreats. You know, like, I want to pay for the good conjure oils. I want to I wanna pay for the, the, the black-owned businesses. I want to pay for their shipping and handling. I want to pay for them to be able to um, give me a candle with their magic in it. Or, you know, like, support women who do what I do. I want to be able to do that. You know, and, like, sometimes, like, I just, I want to be able to do more. Like, whether it's for my mama, for my daughter, for my brother for my auntie, for my man, like, for my friends. Like, I want to be able to go out with my friends and not always tell them no. 
uh, like dang i gotta stay home with my baby but because of my trauma i'm not leaving her with anybody and that's that's something that i'll be having to to deal with as a 29 year old adult it's like i'm grown grown so i got got a kid i got kids right but also like i do want to have fun but then there's the trauma of how my mom having fun and me running around the house with kids who were just unsupervised doing shit that they seen done you know like i see how that affected me still at 29 years old so like that should be in the back of my mind to where it's like mm, mm, i don't really know if i'm fucking with it maybe i'm not the mama that want to do that like maybe i'm just not the girl that that go out like that so there's also identity crisis that be like damn like does it make me a bad friend that i don't want to do that shit and then coming into acceptance of like who I am and that while no, I'm not perfect, I'm me. I love how I'm coming. I love my aura. I love my essence. And me being 100% nice is not how I want to be remembered. I don't want to be remembered as the sweet old lady. Like, yeah, that's cool. But like, my grandkids gonna know. My legacy gonna know. Caprice did not play. Okay, like what, what, whatever I'm known as when I pass away, like she didn't play that. She stood on business. She made magic happen. One thing about her, she cuss you out. Well, she gonna hug you after. She gonna say she's sorry, and she gonna she she gonna give you a hug and you gonna feel love. Period. She gonna give you a stern talking to. She gonna talk your ear off. She gonna yell at you, and then she probably gonna cry because she feel guilty about it. Period. That's Granny Caprice. That's 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 my mama. That's just yeah say that about me because i do i stand 10 toes down okay yeah she be mad yeah she got some anger yeah she be going off the hinges but i like me so like at 29 it's just i feel like it's like it feels like it's supposed to be some cat where it's like ah i'm so much better in my 30s but like girl i'm i'm it, you're almost over. My birthday almost finna roll around again, and I'm still trying to figure it out. We're never fully healed. There's never, like, just... <sighs> the healing don't stop even when you die. Like, the healing is forever. The healing is energetic. The healing, the energy never dies. Like, it just, it just, it, it is what it is. Our soul is literally just we I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission and I'm on a mission to like I like to win. I'm very competitive and I, I don't wanna come back here. I'm not coming back here. So I wanna do everything that I set out to do. Like I don't wanna be in the matrix. I don't want to subscribe to Christianity or Islam or uh Ju Judaism or I don't I don't wanna be a religious. I don't I don't wanna uh have a credit score. I, I, I don't, I don't want to ha have a social security number. Of course, yeah, I got one. But, like, what the fuck? Why am I, why am I a number? Like, I don't want credit card. Pay for school. We teaching these kids what? Like, what? Like, I, I just, even the stuff, like, the curriculum, like, I just, ugh. Oh my God! Everything, everything about the world, everything about people, everything about the government, everything about what they want you to think is real just bothers me. Like I'm not, I'm not like this. So it'd be hard because like I'm still getting used to standing out. I'm still getting used to being stared at. I'm still getting used to the my own energy, my power, my aura, my essence. I'm still getting used to the fact that like, I intimidate people. I'm still getting used to the fact that people uh, assume that I'm aggressive because I'm passionate. I'm still getting used to the fact that, damn, I'm really a grown-ass woman and I do what the fuck I want to do. Okay? And it just is what the fuck it is and who's going to stop me. <laughs> okay? Like, I'm still getting used to, like, not feeling like I can get in trouble. Like, I'm still getting used to, like, 
feeling like an adult. Like, I don't need my mommy. Like, I don't need a man. Like, I'm, I'm just getting to that point. And even still, I ain't nowhere near where I want to be. I'm nowhere even near the destination, the goal. I'm, 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 I'm way over here. I'm an integer. I don't know. I don't know. I just, life be life. Yo. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. I mean, this the happiest I ever been though. Like I'm, I can't, I can genuinely say, I'm so, I'm so just at peace. I'm so happy. Like in my life, I'm so happy, but I'm stressed out. But shit is still hard. I still cry on a daily. I still am emotional. I still get frustrated. I still cuss people out and be mad and make mistakes, and and. <sighs> I be doing all kind of shit. So what? <laughs> no, not, 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 not so what. Because cause I'm working on myself. But, like, it just be like, girl, who, who's going to put some limitations on me? Do y'all know the Arishas? Like, do y'all know the, the, the fuck shit that was going on? Okay? I've been studying fucking Egyptian mythology. um, Greek mythology. Okay? All of the allergies, <laughs> African spirituality, okay? Like, I want to know all the different creation of the world stories. I believe them all. I believe they're all one and the same. I believe it's like the, the telephone, man, okay? I believe that these are all different variations based on culture, religion, spiritual beliefs. Uh, yeah, but energies, like, just because energy, like, like, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Because then I don't like getting into the religious sector. But, like, I'm in that. I'm in that. Like, that's what I mean by life you life. And because, it, like, all my life I grew up in a church. And now I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm this girl. I'm this woman. I'm this goddess. Like, how? Yeah. I question, like, damn. Like, sometimes I know that what I'm doing it comes from God but like sometimes I find myself like when something pop up on my YouTube feed like new age spirituality is bad like sometimes I'll be like dang why does pop up God like is you trying to tell me something but then I'll be like fuck out of here fuck no like there's no way that I could believe that this little religion is meant for all people and God made us all different I just, I just don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. So, <laughs> ain't no way I'm going to believe that something that we had to steal from NASA. Uh, let me, listen. Okay, I just, I, uh, I don't want to get into too much, okay? But, <sighs> life be life and, life be life and, babe. Life be life and yep and and that's just that that's all I wanted to say that's all I wanted to talk about because at the end of the day life be life and and um it ain't gonna stop and I'm not gonna stop I'm gonna keep going through shit and I'm gonna keep getting through shit and I'm gonna keep triumphing being a triumph I'm gonna keep making shit happen okay I'm gonna keep doing a damn thing because that's what I do and um it might not look good it, it might look terrible it might look like i'm struggling it might look like i don't know but if you don't like the view don't watch but if you like it if you fuck with it if you're going through shit too hell even if not not hell i'm sorry i apologize <laughs> but like i mean yeah like uh, I hope you're not struggling, and if you are, it's okay, because I am too, okay? Three, 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 we all going through it. If it's you, then it's me. If it's me, then it's we, because we all up in this thing together. Like, we all just on earth living, being humans. Not all of us, but, you know, I just... God love us so much, and we, and we be down here stressed out, thinking earth is ghetto, and we don't even know what else is out there. So I'm going I'm to choose to feel blessed that my bills is backed up and that I'm an entrepreneur trying to make a way because I won't get a job. I told myself I won't work for nobody no more, okay? Because when I did get a job and I was working at that bar, okay, baby, I realized mm -mm -mm -mm, all these jobs is the same, okay? They don't give a fuck about you. And not only that, 
not only that you ain't never you ain't never double negative you are never getting paid enough you're never getting paid enough for your time okay to be gone somewhere for eight hours of your day when you spend eight hours sleep so you only get how many day how many hours to actually like live love be happy be cheery be merry like that's crazy and then out of those hours you're not even happy because you're still thinking about the other eight hours that you just spent that word like i don't get it i don't know i know i don't understand i don't subscribe i don't so i mean life be life <laughs> life be life and yeah i just i don't want to get a job because I just, and it's not that I'm lazy. Because if you ever know me or if you know me in person, you already know I've only been managers, okay? I've always worked my way up to manager at almost every job that I've been at except for Burleson because I was only there for a couple months. And Noodles and Company because I was only there for a couple months, too. Other than that, I've always been a lead or a manager, okay, period. I work hard. I get down. I don't play. But I just, I don't like rules. I don't like somebody telling me what to do. I don't like being on the right time. And I don't like having to do something that I don't want to do. Like, if I don't want to get out the bed today, because sometimes I want, I want to go to work. But if I'm literally stressed out and I'm sad and I need a mental health day, I want to be able to take that. You know? But even working for myself, I don't give myself mental health days i have to for i have to force myself and then when i do give myself a mental health day i have to literally talk, talk like put it on god be like well god want me to have this day god want me to have this day god want me to have a break girl just take the break just take a nap who 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 do something about it take a nap but yeah i don't know i just i don't want to work for nobody and it's causing a steamroller problems because I'm an entrepreneur, but I need to actually have money to pay somebody all this money to do my taxes. Um, I need somebody to help me come up with a business plan because I'm about to officially graduate. And once I graduate and I actually have my license, I need to start applying for these like business ventures. Like I need help. I need stuff. Um, yeah, like. I want to be a better girlfriend. Like I'm, I'm really crazy, y'all. I'm crazy, and I think I have forgot that I was crazy. But now I'm starting to remember now that I got a man, and it's like I'm trying to just be better. And I want to be a better mom. I want to be a better friend. It's like I got so much shit that I'm trying to do at one time. Uh, okay, like I want to do it all. I want to do it all. I want to be a better daughter. Like I want to give my mom stuff for Christmas. Like the last three, four years, I've been broke. It's like. I'm I'm not doing it this year. I'm not gonna be broke this year. Like we're we're gonna get it together. Like we're gonna get it together. In the other three years, I had jobs. So that just goes to show, even with a job, you ain't never got enough money. You ain't never got enough money. And it's like I think that's what they want. I think they want us to have heart attacks and die or something. COVID didn't work. Like killing off the population is not working. Like the drugs are not working. Like we're like roaches at this point. Earth is ghetto and we're just surviving everything. I don't know. Is this the apocalypse? Cause that's kind of, mm, I don't know. I don't know y'all. I'm talking too much and I'm actually not talking too much, but my mouth get dry. So I feel like I'm talking too much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did get this video, thumbs up. If y'all understood what the fuck I was talking about, about how life be, you know, life and stuff. Leave a comment down below about how your life be like it too, so I don't have to feel so alone. And I really appreciate y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share on all your other social medias. And I am out of here, you guys. Peace.